a student sent me this problem to go ahead and solve, and I thought it was interesting enough that I wanted to make a video on it. Now, to sketch negative 7 pi in standard form, there's a couple things that we need to know. And if I was teaching this inside the classroom, I would make sure that my students understood the basis of this, so therefore they would understand what exactly we're doing and how to be able to get this angle. The first thing we need to understand is what exactly is standard form. So standard form is when we're going to draw an angle on the xy axis. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the rotation here starting with this initial side, which is going to be the positive side of our x-axis. And then if we rotate that counterclockwise, that would be a positive angle. And if we rotate clockwise, that'd be represented a negative angle. And it's gonna be the rotation here between this ray and that ray that is going to give us our angle, all right? So we have standard form, we know that's positive, we know that's negative. We know we have a negative, so we know we're gonna start here and then we're gonna rotate this way. But what about how far are we gonna rotate negative seven pi? And maybe you don't even know what exactly is pi, or maybe you do know pi, but you don't really understand why we get it and how it relates to on, on the standard form or the unit circle. So. Let's just do a quick little review of pi so we can make sense of how we're gonna get this negative seven pi. So if I took the radius, right, and that's gonna be the distance from the center to any point on the circle. And let's take this part right here. And let's pretend this was like a rigid, you know, a noodle from a box of pasta. But then I drop that pasta in water and then I wrap it around the circle. It'd probably go to right here. And then if I took two of those, probably go here. And if I took three of those, it'd probably go like right there. And you can see it's almost so close halfway around the circle. And it'd be amazing to remember that pi is just three radiuses wrapped halfway around the circle. But unfortunately, it's not three radiuses wrapped around the circle. There's this little sliver at the end that looks like it's approximately 0.14159 dot, 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 goes on and on forever. And yes, that is exactly what our definition or our measurement of pi is. So we'd have one radius, two radiuses, three radiuses, but halfway around a circle is going to be pi radiuses wrapped around a circle, or what we call pi radians. So halfway around a circle is going to be pi. All the way around the circle would represent a measurement of two pi, so that'd be pi. All the way around the circle would represent as two pi. Now again, this is in the positive form of our angle. We need to get to negative seven pi. So if I'm gonna graph this, I'm gonna start with my x, y axis standard form. Remember, we're always starting here, all right? Now I know we're gonna go in this negative direction, right? And I know all the way around circle is negative two pi. So let's just kind of go around some circles and just kind of count. So from here to here, that is negative two pi. Go around again, that's gonna be negative four pi. Go around again, that's gonna be negative six pi. And we just need one more pi in the negative direction. So negative seven pi is gonna rotate over here. So you can see this angle starts here, does three rotations, and then we have one more half rotation around the circle, and that is what your angle, negative seven pi, is going to look like. 